Welcome to my kitchen and today we have Amtara in the kitchen with us and she is making burgul bandora, a very old and traditional dish which is cracked wheat in tomato broth. Amtara? Yeah. Let's go. My turn? Yeah. Now we're going to make the parsley and we're going to make the burgul bandora. We're going to make the and Mtara here will be speaking in Arabic and don't you all worry because I will interpret most things she says but sometimes she says things that I can't interpret so <laughs> all right okay hala nkaffi farm wa ba'dayn nfarjikum kif badna nqalliha so here we go we're chopping the onion now and we're going to saute that onion this dish is literally three ingredients you will love it it's so simple, full of flavour, and so easy to make. Three ingredients, I'm tired of. Yeah. So you need onion, you need cracked wheat, and you need canned chopped tomatoes, seasoned with salt, and you're done. Hal am farjikun ana kif al basli. Fi nas bi imu ahay al al basli min hon. I'm tired. It's tip here. Yeah. This is how she peels her onion, ready to yeah. chop it. You see, so we can farji hon ano kif. ما بتفرط. She leaves that intact. Yeah. ما بتفرط البس اللي بضل ااا ماسك ال 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 الأمعاء بتمسكها للبس. So if you cut your onion in half like this and you leave that part intact, once you're chopping your onion, it holds the whole onion half together. So if we have a look, she's going to chop right to the end. Yeah. I don't always do that. أنا ما بعمل هيك. Yeah, yeah, that's Anna. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, you forgot to turn the stove on. Okay. You always do. Forget. Insit. هلا عمل من قل البصل مع الزيت وبعدين بنحط البندورة على البصل بس يغلو مع بعضه بعدين بنحط البرو. Okay, so we're just sautéing the onion now. We want the onion to be nice and soft. We're going to soften that until it's translucent um, before we add the tomato sauce. Hala alena al basli. Hala aman put al bandora. So adding adding our chopped tomatoes and inside it just made a big mess. <laughs> That's all right. Everybody does a mess. Give that a, a little, yeah. a bit of a mix, and now we're going yeah. to simmer uh, that for about ten minutes. هلا عم نحط البرغل على البندورة وبعدين هلا بس نخلصون. Okay, so we've added the uh, cracked wheat. Cover that, simmer it for ten minutes. This is a really simple recipe. It's so easy to recreate um, at home and really easy to eat too. نغطيهم ونوطي الغاز تحت منه. Yes. Yeah. وبعدين ten minutes. بدي يخلصوا بس يخلصوا ونفرجيكم كيف بدي أقول لكم شغلة للمشاهدين اللي بدين يشوفونا هلا كل يوم الصبح عن جد عن جد بس في الواحد بيفتح الشباك وبيصلي كل يوم عن جد كنون إسلام ولا مسيحية ولا everyone every people عن جد جربوها وشوفوا كيف ربنا بيفتح بوشكم كل يوم كل يوم الصبح هيك تضحكوا وتقولوا نهار حلو عن جد جربوها وادعوا لي وانا بحبكم كثير. I do remember telling you guys that there are certain things I can't really interpret. So wishing you all a really happy day. And we're done. Yeah. Literally. هلا, هلا عم نسكب البرغل والبندورة وبعدين بنفرجيكم كيف البرزنتيشن. All right, so this is it. Literally, this recipe has taken 15 to 17 minutes to make. And now Imtara is going to show us how she's going to garnish. So, in the Middle East, garnishing has always been really important when presenting our food. So this is a really traditional way of yeah. garnishing the burgul bandora. Or my Imtara's way. Yeah. Then so we'll... But the nana, please. I'll get you the nana. Yeah. What else? She's really bossy in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So we've got onion rings. Yeah. Red onion rings. Can you use a brown onion? I'm thought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can yeah. use brown onion to garnish yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Red looks pretty. Yeah. Okay. 
some mint. Olives. And voila, it's done. Old, meet the new. This is my take on presenting the Barol Bandora. So I've done individual glasses, individual servings, and what we're going to do is I've got the cracked wheat at the base, and then I've got some coriander, and I've got some feta. I'm gonna put a little bit more feta. Because the feta is salty, and the cracked wheat with the tomato broth, that's kind of got a sweetness to it. So that's a really good balance. I'm going to add some cracked pepper on top. And if you are having a dinner party, this could be your starter. A drizzle of a bit of olive oil on top, and you're ready to go. That's Amazing. it. Amazing. <laughs> so, and... Wow. Very nice. That's right. And that's it. Bring it in a book, come on. Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. Easy, easy to make. Mm. Beautiful. And yet amazing. Wow.